my name's Phil Shaw. Um, we're in Clifton Hamden, uh, near Wallingford. Um, we grow just grass here really, roy grass and meadow grass for horse consumption. Um, been doing it about 15 years now, started with nothing. Um, we've got several trailers, two tractors, all the equipment to do it, all built up from scratch. Um, started off buying and selling it, I wasn't pleased with the product, I had to put my stamp on it. Some was good, some was bad and it wasn't right, so I make all my own, own now. Um, I only sell the very best to my customers, anything that we kind of muck up or the weather beats us, it goes out the back door to the local cattle farmer or sheep farmer. So yeah, just proud of what I make really. The farm on the bottom side of here is um, 80 acres. We've got one, two, three, three rye fields, two meadows by the river. And the other side of the road, we've got another 170 acres, which is a mixture of rye grass and um, meadow grass, and some Timothy rye as well. Most of the customers are livery yards. We've got two racehorse yards, three polo yards we um, supply, um, and they're all within 50 miles radius. So we're always very busy delivering out to them. Our customers never complain about it, so they obviously like it. But as I say, we try and fit their needs. Some people like this, some people like that, some people like this. So we, we have a right of, of a wide variety of grass and it, it suits their needs. From Cotswold Seeds we normally use their two year lay which is very good. We let that do three years, maybe four years sometimes. Um, we use a Westerwald from Cotswold Seeds if we put something in quick in the spring just to bulk up and get two cuts in the summer. And then we use their Timothy Meadow Mix which is very popular with the horses. They love the Timothy. Um, a lot of the owners say, oh, it's too crunchy, they won't need it. Once the horse gets it, it loves it. This is um, the two-year Cotswold Rye, hard horse hay. This is its second season. So we had spring barley in here previously, we ploughed it up, very traditional. We always plough it up and get it down, get a nice seed bed so it has a nice start. Um, last year it didn't do quite so well because the drought set in. This year it's looking fantastic. So this will make big bale haylage and small bale haylage. Hopefully we'll get two cuts off of it, weather permitting. If we get some rain, we'll get two cuts off it, I would think. We will normally get 13, 14 bales to the acre. Um, they'd be like four, five to a ton. Um, as a second cut, we might be looking um, six, seven bales to the acre. We manage it by putting um, straight nitrogen with some sulphur in. Um, normally put about 380 um, kilos to a hectare. We don't overdo it because it, it makes it difficult to make, so we, we keep it a little bit lean. Um, then the sheep go on it in the winter, graze it right down and then it just grows back. We very rarely put any weed killer on it. it normally, um, the sheep do a good job, they eat it out, and it, it, it sort of suffocates the weeds again when it comes back. Yes, the sheep do all the work. I'm, I don't believe in rolling anything. I think it destroys the crop all the way through. I don't believe in harrowing it, just let the sheep do the work. This crop will be down on the ground for probably four or five more days and we must try and bale sunshine into the bale if we can. I think it makes all the difference if it's really sunny.